So in this video, what we're going to focus on is setting up our slots and then adding some sample utterances so that way we know exactly when a user says this particular phrase, we'll be able to match it up with a certain slot type. Okay, so first off, we're going to change these names because these names are going to correspond to the utterances that we give up here. So this one will be called breads. This one will be called size, actually sizes. This one will be called sauce. This one will be toppings. And this one will be temp temperature. Okay, so now that we got those taken care of, um, another thing to note is I'll explain this layout and what each means. So with priority, we can actually kind of suggest where we would like certain things to appear. So if sauces is priority, so sizes, sauces, breads, if we want breads to move up, then we can make breads the first priority. And again, with priorities, I'm going to explain it when we have utterances why it's important, but it just gives a hierarchy as to what needs to be read first or processed first. Okay. Um, in terms of this required statement, so required is going to be useful for prompts. Okay. So that means when we, let's say, give, uh, for example, an utterance being, I like a uh, uh, Italian six inch sub, it's going to uh, prompt us after uh, in this location here for breads being, you know, what type of bread and it would be Italian or if we're not, so for example, if we're not specifying uh, the type of bread, so if we're just saying six inch sub, we're going to go through the bread section here and it's going to ask, you know, what bread would you like? And it should be Italian. So it's basically going to prompt the user and asking anything that is missing in terms of parameters. So if a user gave all of these as their parameters here in an utterance, then we don't necessarily need to do any prompts because we have all the value. Okay. So now that we have slots all taken care of, let's focus on the prompts. So we'll say what type of bread. Um, what size of sub and we'll give some examples like six, six inch or 12 inch uh, what type of bread Italian um, what sauce would you like okay what Toppings. Okay. What size would you like? So this would be tomato. This one here would be, um, let's just say peppers. Um, would you like a hot sub? Okay, so these are our prompts. Um, again, we'll leave them as is. Um, maybe we'll make this also uh, verified as well, because again, we do want these two items at least. We wanna know the bread, we wanna know the size. Um, so that's why we are gonna ask it to prompt that. So now with utterances, this is where we're gonna ask, or this is where a regular user will ask the question, you know, can I get a, can I get a so 12 inch, let's say 12 inch sub on, this one's gonna have to be sizes on that bread. Okay, we're gonna add it. And what it did now is color code sizes based on this slot type on breads based on that. If we wanted to say, can I get a, a six inch uh, Italian on, or no, Italian hot. We can also do so as well. Okay, so that means if we specify, can I get a blank, 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 
it'll know to configure these responses here, right? Um, let's see if we can do, I want uh, bread sizes, toppings, and bread sizes, toppings, sauces. Okay, so there you go. So we'll leave these utterances alone right now. Um, I think these are good to go. Also, these are good to go. And in the next video, we'll talk about air handling and then do our first uh, sample test. So I'll see you in the next video.